father made him an offer he couldn't refuse. What was that? Luca Brazzi held a gun to his head, and my father assured him that either his brains or his signature would be on the contract. That's a true story. That's my family, Kate. It's not me. You're gonna search me when I first meet them, right? Well, I can't have a weapon on me then. But if Clemenza can figure a way to have a weapon planted there for me, then I'll kill them both. brother and I love you but don't ever take sides with anyone against the family again ever today I settle all family business so don't tell me you're innocent Carla admit what you did get him a drink come on don't be afraid Carl Come on, you think I make my sister a widow? I'm godfather to your son, Carl. Only don't tell me you're innocent. Because it insults my intelligence. It makes me very angry. Michael, is it true? Don't ask me about my business, Kate. Is it true? Don't ask me about my business. No! Hey. Senator, you can have my answer now if you like. My offer is this. Nothing. The ink on your divorce isn't dry yet and you're getting married. You see your children on weekends. You know, your oldest boy, Victor, was picked up in Reno for some petty theft you don't even know about? Michael! You fly around the world with men who don't care for you and use you like a whore? You're not my father! And what do you come to me for? Because I need money. Connie. If you don't listen to me, marry this man. Would disappoint me. The one thing I learned from Pop was to try to think as people around you think. Now, on that basis, anything's possible. You heard what happened in my home? Mike, I almost died myself. It was all so relieved. In my home! In my bedroom, where my wife sleeps. Where my children come and play with their toys. In my home. My father taught me many things here. He taught me in this room. He taught me, keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. There's a plane waiting for us to take us to Miami in an hour. They'll make a big thing about it. I know it was you, Fredo. You broke my heart. 
You broke my heart. Was it a boy? Mikey, after three and a half months. Now, can't you give me a straight answer anymore? Was it a boy? from me do you expect me to let you go do you expect me to let you take my children from me don't you know me don't you know that that's an impossibility that that could never happen that I'd use all my power to keep something like that from happening don't you know that okay now in time you feel differently. You'll be glad I stopped you now. I know that. I know you blame me for losing the baby. Yes. I know what that meant to you. I'll make it up to you, Kay. I swear I'll make it up to you. I'll. I'm going to change. I'll change. I've learned that I have the strength to change. And you'll forget about this miscarriage. And we'll have another child. And we'll go on. You and I. We'll go on. You won't take my chair. You won't take my children! Say it over. You're nothing to me now. You're not a brother. You're not a friend. I don't want to know you or what you do. I don't want to see you at the hotels. I don't want you near my house. When you see our mother, I want to know a day in advance so I won't be there. You understand? Mikey. I don't want anything to happen to him while my mother's alive. Tom, you know you surprised me. If anything in this life is certain, if history's taught us anything, it says you can kill anyone. Mike, you gotta understand that uh, your father has plans for you. Now, many times, he and I have talked about your future. Talk to my father about my future. My future. Mikey, he has high hopes for you. Well, I have my own plans for my future. Mm -hmm. 